All right, we're back. Today's January 3rd, it's Jacob's birthday. I caught one fish, we rotted yesterday. But blues in the winter can be tough. We just pulled up on two spots, we were marking really good fish. And within five minutes. Well, that's a good one. Oh yeah, this is a good one. <laughs> Felt some good head shakes. You never know in the winter because they can be real lazy until they get to the boat. We are back. It's been a while for me since I've been on the Missouri River. It is low out here. We're talking low. Hey, that's a good one. That's a respectable fish. Can I get back here? Several audibles in this trip. It's It's been one for the books, that's for sure. This is a really good blue. Is it? Yep. We haven't caught any channel cats, just blues. And we are on them today, baby. Nice one, Yes. Dad. That felt good. I have not caught many blue cats in my Ready life. Ready for them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got yourself a blue cat, bud. That was awesome. Let me show you this fish. <laughs> that was awesome. That was such a good bite too, Brent. That it was. Yes. You know, Just get this hook out of his mouth. Setting up on this current seemed like we are, and they're funneling through here, it seems like. You seem to mark a couple, set up, and wait 20, 30 minutes, and... You get blue cats. It can be tough, but this fish, both of our fish today, we are. We, this is our second spot. Yep. Yep. Second spot. Both of our fish came within pro under ten minutes. Yep. My biggest thing when you when you're targeting these big blue cats, you use your side imaging, your down imaging, whether it's a Lorance or a hummingbird, and you really want to target these fish and look for them on your graph where. I don't usually just set up on a random spot. You're trying to target those fish on your on your depth finders, and that's kind of the biggest thing with that. There you go, easy as that. I'm gonna get this fish out so we can get her back. That's what's really important. All right, so I'm holding this fish. Rob doubled over. We got a double. Yep. I'm gonna put this fish in the net. Okay. So it's what we're doing today. Is we're marking them with our depth finders behind these dikes precision anchoring and they seem to be coming right on these seam lines where the main river's out there and the dikes are you know they're not iced over yet but he ain't a real big one but a nice january blue cat on the missouri river <laughs> it don't get no better than this heck no oh he's a little dinky i'll be able to boat flip him Get him. Oh, got my rod for me? Yes, sir. Okay. On the Brent special rig. Should explain that. Just one. like that. Let's hold these fish up, get them both back. It's a nice Missouri River, just a baby blue cat, real cold. <laughs> that's how that's how it's done right We're there. We're on them. When you set up and you mark multiple fish behind a dike, this is what you can expect. It, this is a good blue cat. She's gone. A lot of rocks right there. We're in about one, two feet of water. There she goes, nice and healthy. Yeah, baby, double, Brent. We did not catch many. We, we had a few bites yesterday. It was a ghost town out here. We were second guessing everything yep. we were doing. We were not marking fish, and today we didn't mark fish on the first what yeah. six fish, six dams. Fish in a new stretch of river, trying to figure a, a plan out, especially in this cold winter. Uh, just figuring out a game plan and kind of going with your gut instinct of what works. And we're putting the time in. I don't All know right. any anybody else that's out here right now, so we're trying. <laughs> we're, we're definitely trying. Oh man, that was fun. <laughs> Are you hooked up? I am hooked up. Okay. Here we go. This was the shortest rod we put out and we this is that's that another second, that second dam. Sorry to interrupt, but that's another blue cat. I'm gonna get the net ready. Oh yeah. And caught only blues today. Can I go can I get this rod up over? Go like this you go to the outside get that rod back there it's a good fish brent yes it is 
We've had an epic day on Jacob's birthday here. It's been uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's a little cluttered back here, but oh man. This okay. fish is good and it's digging on me right now. Oh. Go, Brent. Okay. Oh, we got him. Yeah, these have been cookie cutter fish, but heck yeah. You ready? Yes, sir. Okay, he's coming overboard. And that is another nice blue cat. Yeah, we are. Well, we're on something today, that's for sure. Thank you, Brett. We'll get Just get him on hook there. I actually put a float on this one. We don't normally fish many floats, but I just thought since it was the winter, maybe get it off the bottom a little bit. And we've we've had quite a few bites on the float rod. First uh, good fish on it. But here, let me get get him out of the net and get some good pictures. And that's a great blue anywhere you go. It's not the absolute giant we're looking for, but that's a respectable fish right there. <laughs> Definitely gave me a good fight in this cold water. They still fight nice, which is great. And uh, that was a fun one. Yeah. Right? If you if you roll them down in the winter time, you'll see a lot of these these channel cats, which this is a blue, where he doesn't have any mud. I think that these blue cats are still suspended through the water column, and that's why you get a couple of these these blues on a float using a float rig that baits up off the bottom because there's no mud. A lot of these channel cats that we catch out here on the Missouri River will have mud on their bellies, but this one looks like it was suspended. Yeah, great point. So, and that's why it bit on that float rod. So. Yeah. All right, give me one last look at her here and we'll get a release on this fish. You know, Pete, you said you wanted to come down here for an 80 pounder or a big one, but when you can get on, you know, five to 10 of these blue cats, whether they're 5 to 15, 20 pounds, it's a good day of fishing in the winter time for sure. Ready. And yeah, look at that one. He's ready to go. These blue cats, people say that they're they're cold and in the winter time they're cold, but they still put up a good fight right. in the winter time. Good fight. They? they go back nice and healthy, and yeah. that's really what we want out here. We want to put them back nice and healthy and get that when it's 50. Yes. All right, next up, 60 plus. Come on. Not an 80, 60 plus. How about that? Is that too much right. to ask for? Hey, we're not Is getting... Is it too much? No, but we're not getting greedy. We got to work your way up to that All 60. Right. You got to catch a handful before we can get you on a 60. Sure. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. This is my new rig I've came up with for the Missouri River. Got your, your weight on the bottom. You got a hook coming up about a foot off the bottom. Then you got another one coming up here. So when we're casting on this seam line, Right here, this bait will sit and you'll have your, your baits up off the bottom for these fish. Pretty straightforward. I just cut them into small chunks. There's your top hook. I'll use a headpiece. Hook it right, I hook them right through the eyeballs. You can do whatever you want, but that's what works for me. And that's kind of what that rig looks like. We'll get her casted out. And so what, what's the point of that one? So, a lot of people will fish on the bottom with like a Carolina rig or um, a float rig. Something like this, it's just a little bit different. And you got bait throughout the water column, granted, you know, a uh, foot off the bottom versus three foot off the bottom. Something just a little bit different. That is a good one, man. It's a really good one. <laughs> that might be big fish today. It's been pandemonium. Oh. Yep, he's in the net. Woo! <laughs> We're crushing today. We didn't catch a fish yesterday at all. So the backstory: we've been here for a day and a half, and uh, it's been a struggle. Oh, check out this guy. Great fish. Nice blue. Missouri River, it either uh, whoops your butt or <laughs> you start to find some fish, put a pattern together. Winter's always been best for us to figure out you know, fish a little more efficiently. Something cool with this fish, if you look at the, the fins, how pink they are. They are pink. In, in the winter time, those fins get really pink and uh, this one's not really albino looking, but it's got some cool colors to it for Heck sure. Yeah. We're, we're putting a pattern together. So yeah, fish number uh, four today. Number four, let's get this one back. Maybe move spots again. 
We're gonna we're gonna find some more. That's for sure. That's the bait. Big old fatty. I can't see. There you go. Yep. All right, baby. Cold water blues re released just awesome. I'm a really happy guy right now. It's really cold at home. We came south. We're finding fish in the boat, not on the ice. Yes, yes, that is good to yes. hear right there. <laughs> Got a fish on, baby. And that fish way is over. running. Look at these way over again. Where are we at? Okay. Okay. And we're hooked up. So prime example where that fish just kind of slowly bit. Look at where I'm fighting him. Yeah, and he ran out into that main channel seam. And that's another blue cat. He's not real big, but this time of year you'll get a lot of them short bites where you just you got to kind of play it. This will make for number six today, right? Yeah. And he's ours. Sweet fish. Another one, number yeah. six today? Yeah, you know, you're putting a hurting on him with your birthday, man. That's we ought to come down here for your, for your birthday more often. And, <laughs> great yeah. birthday on the Missouri River, that's for sure. We still need to stick that giant. Hey, if you gotta find them. If you're catching small ones, you're bound to possibly get a get another hundred pounder. Yep. But if you're you're we're in the right area. That's right. All right, let's get them back. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, 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 we got a double. Oh, we got a double. We got a double. Double, double, double. Here, take this one. Take this one, Pete. Take that one. Oh yeah, we got a double. <laughs> okay. This is doubled up on the Missouri River. And uh, I'm kind of speechless right now. He's got his. I gotta get it. I'm gonna go. Yep. There you go. Oh, getting slow. Oh! Uh, my fish is pretty good. He's got good weight to him. He's staying down. You think you can just walk that one back oh, yeah. and boat oh, flip yeah. him? No, I got him. Okay. <laughs> you couldn't ask for a better day for Jacob's yes. birthday. Uh, it. Double? We just doubled up. Pandemonium. And I want to say, on my dropper rig, what we were talking about, I've got my weight down here, and I've got my hook. And this fish bit on the top hook sure right did. here. So that means he came up. He wasn't on the bottom. You couldn't ask for a better day with some good people. We had good food. We got ribs coming up on the grill. We've had chili, uh, yeah. wings. We've had good food. And These the are like family right here. They <laughs> colored the, the same. Both have that pink color that Brent was talking about earlier. Yeah. Yep, they got the Beautiful. pink on their fins and their tails. And <laughs> Big fish. Big fish. We got a good one on. On the outside seam. Oh, oh, coming through, coming through. And he's a good one. <laughs> we thought the day was over. We've sat at this spot for maybe an hour or so. Nope. This is our fourth fish. And he's just kind of out in that current. You're good. You can set that rod down. And grab that. Ooh, oh, that is a good one. He's not a he's not a 25 by any means, but he might go 15. 
Oh, just like that. No. <laughs> I'm gonna show you something funny. This I pulled this out of the net from the last two fish. We were wondering if they were coming on heads or bellies. They're coming on, on yep, bellies. Yep, nice gut pockets. Yep. <laughs> you can see there's snow in the background. Most people are probably sitting at home with the with the fireplaces on, drinking hot chocolate, and <laughs> we're we're out here catching blue cats in the cold. Oh, what a fun weekend with you guys. This has been truly a, a really fun experience with Jacob and, and Pete from Northwoods Angling. And we were just uh, talking about that as we were kind of wrapping up the day here, but yeah, I couldn't think of a something I'd rather be doing than doing this, even in the cold weather. This is just a blast. Yep. You know, most people this time of year, they chase hard water uh, ice fishing, and it's nice getting the boat out and catching blue cats. So we're going to let this one go to get big, and... Hopefully you guys enjoyed it.